Okay, in this section, we're going to talk about trigonometric substitutions. There's three main ones. Uh, if you have a like expression of, a, of the form a squared minus x squared, you could let x equal a sine theta. It doesn't have to have a square root, actually. The reason why you do that is because when, when you plug in x equals a sine theta, you, you end up getting a square root of a squared minus a squared sine squared theta, and that allows you to get rid of the, the square root using the trig i identities, cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. And that's true with all, all, all of these. If you have an expression involving a squared plus x squared, you can use a, x equals a tangent. And then if you have uh, an expression of the form x squared minus a squared, you can use x equals a secant. And get, in, in each case, you should be able to get rid of the, of the square roots. All right, let's look at an example. So when, when, you, see, when you see a integral of this type, uh, since you have x squared minus something, you're going to use the secant one, x equals secant theta, right? So dx equals secant theta tangent theta d theta. Don't forget to substitute for dx, that's a common mistake. So when you substitute, you get a secant cubed here, here you get a secant squared minus one. Now remember, that secant squared minus one, that turns into a tangent, right? So you got a tangent here, a tangent here, and you got a tan squared, so you got a secant of the fourth tan squared. Let's see, that integral looks familiar. Remember, if, if secant is even, you pull off a secant squared. Remember that? So you can do this. Then you can write everything else in terms of tangent. So you, so you get this. Now you make the substitution u equals tangent of theta du secant squared. So it becomes this. And the integral becomes this. Uh, and you've got to switch back in terms of um, x. First, you go back in terms of theta. Now, now th here's the tricky part. To, to switch back in terms of x, remember the original substitution was x equals secant theta, right? x equals secant theta, so draw a triangle where the secant of theta, which would, which would be x over 1, right? So that makes this this side the square root of x squared minus 1. So what is the tangent? The tangent is the square root of x squared minus 1 over 1, or just the square root of x squared minus 1. So, so make sure you plug in, wherever there's a tangent, plug in the square root of x squared minus 1. And you end up with this. Okay, let's see, let's do some more. Okay, look at this one. Here you've got um, the inter definite integral from 0 to 2 of the square root of 4 minus x squared dx. You might recognize that uh, a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 4, when you integrate from 0 to 2, you're looking at 1 quarter of that circle. So the integral should be 1 fourth pi r squared. It should be pi, shouldn't it? Anyway, how would you use cal calculus to find that out? Let x equal 2 sine theta, because you have a squared minus x squared, right? dx becomes 2 cosine squared, or 2 cosine theta. Let's switch the limits of integration as well. When x equals 0, uh, u equals the sine of 0 is 0. And when x equals 2, you have the sine of theta equals 1. Wouldn't theta be pi over 2? So, so you get from 0 to pi over 2. And then when you plug in for x squared, 2 sine theta, you get 4 minus 4 sine squared theta. And you get your dx right here. So what, what happens? Well, you end up with a 4 I mean, you get a 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared, but it's square rooted. This turns into a cosine. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared. So here, here's, that, here's that integral again, that, um, that uh, the reduction form that com comes into play here. Cosine squared written as this. And then you, you can integrate this. We turn this in a lot. The integral becomes, uh, this becomes, one, uh, becomes um, 1 half. The integral becomes theta over 2. And then you actually do a... Um, baby substitution, you have to have a 2 theta here, so you get, a, you get an extra 4 down here. So that's where that 4 comes from, baby u substitution. But when you multiply it through, you just get 2 theta minus sine 2 theta. So when you evaluate between 0 and pi over 2, you get um, pi minus 0 plus, I should say pi plus 0, right? Pi plus 0 minus 0 plus 0. Sure enough, it's pi. Amazing, huh? All right, let's look at this one. This one's a little bit sneakier. You're going to use a secant because you have the x squares first. You're going to say 2x, it's not x, but 2x is going to equal 3 secant theta. That's how you can do this one. So then dx, if you solve for x and then take the differential, dx equals 3 halves secant theta tangent of theta, right? So then when you um, plug your stuff in, um, you square this, right? You square this, so you get 4x squared becomes 9 secant squared, minus 9. 
this is your dx, and then for x you get x becomes three halves secant theta, right? Anyway, look what look what happens, folks. The three halves cancel, and so the secant. So this turns into a tangent. This turns into a tangent. You just get lo and behold, the nine becomes a three. You just get three times the integral of tan tan squared. Now remember how to integrate tan tan squared? We don't really know how, but we can write it in terms of secant. Secant squared is a very friendly inter inter integral, right? So write tangent squared is secant squared minus one, and then you integrate, you get um, tangent minus theta. So make sure you express it in terms of x. Now how do you, how do you express it in terms of x? Uh, the original su substitution was this. The original substitution was 2x equals 3 secant theta. So you have secant theta equals 2x over 3. 2x over 3, that makes this 4x squared minus not, plus 9 square rooted. So what is the tangent? The tangent would be this thing over 3. That's where we got this. And what is theta? Theta would be the inverse secant of 2x over 3. So this, this is your answer. And you can simplify that a little bit, I guess. You could, you could The 3's cancel. So your final answer would be um, square root of 4x squared plus 9 minus 3 inverse secant 2x over 3 plus c. It wasn't too bad. Uh, point out a couple more things here. Um, this integral is one that there's a formula for, but, but my, my advice is uh, it, it's not that hard to, to derive the formula. Uh, if you just use a x equals a tan theta, x equals a tan theta, then dx equals a secant squared theta. And what happens is your dx becomes a secant squared theta d theta. You get uh, x squared, which is a squared tan squared plus a squared. So what you end up with is a um, factor of the a squared out, it cancels with this a, right? So you just get 1 over a. And then tan squared plus 1 is a secant squared. So everything cancels. You just have 1 over a times d theta. That's nice. So when you integrate, you get 1 over a theta plus c. But what is theta again? If you use your substitution, see the tangent of theta is x over a, right? So what is, what is, um, what is, in, what is theta? Theta would be the inverse tangent of x over a, wouldn't it? So your final answer, this is, what, this is what the formula is actually, 1 over a inverse tangent x over a plus c. So you don't have to remember that formula, it's not too hard to derive. Let's do one more. This one is kind of sneaky because um, you're going to have to complete the square first on the bottom here. X, remember how to do that? x squared plus 4x plus 5 can be written like this. And then you complete the square like that. So the integral looks like that when you, when you complete the square. It becomes the square root of uh, x squared, oh, x plus 2 squared plus 1. So you, you're, you're going to let x plus 2 equal tangent of theta. Whatever this is that's being squared is, is your, think of that as your u or whatever. x plus 2 equals, equals tangent of theta. So then dx equals secant squared of theta, right? The differ differential of the left side is just dx. The differential of the right side would be secant squared theta d theta. <clears throat> so you end up with this, right? And then the bottom, isn't that just a secant? Secant squared theta d theta over secant. So that just becomes natural log of um, absolute value of secant plus tangent. We, we want to express it in terms of x. Remember the original substitution here was x plus 2 equals tangent of theta. So tangent of theta equals x plus 2 over 1, right? So what would, the sec what would the secant of theta be? The secant of theta is um, the square root over 1, which is this thing. And what is the tangent of theta? It's x plus 2. So there's your answer in terms of x. Uh-oh, we're, we're out of stuff again. Jeez. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.